Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're here at the SEMA show, and you know, we're here with Earth Roamer, and we're here with... I'm Zach. Zach. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Zach. Yeah, I don't know about anyone else, but you can't walk by these things and go, hmm. It's like, it stops you dead in your track. Yeah. So, tell us, what is this? What so, do we have? This one we're looking at here, this is our Earth Roamer LTI. Okay. So our Earth Roamer LTI is uh, is kind of a reimagining of a line that we built since 1998. Okay. And uh, this is built on a Ford F550, and it is an off-grid camper. It's a luxury off-grid uh, expeditionary vehicle that is all based on our um, our F550 with a one-piece carbon fiber shell as the uh, camper shell on the back. Um, one piece carbon fiber. Yep. Okay. So you've got a huge vehicle. Yep. Right? Just that's the five is just a big vehicle. You got a carbon fiber is gonna make the camper a little bit lighter than Absolutely. fiberglass would, right? Yep. What about torque when the you're going if you're gonna really go off road, you're right. gonna have some play. Right. How did you adjust for the, the, the camper part and the cab? So there's a couple things there. So um, first off, the entire uh, suspension has been replaced with uh, four-corner independent air ride suspension. Okay. So we're now able to control all four corners of our suspension with controls in the cab. Um, and so we're riding on air ride, a lot of comfort, and also we have a lot of travel off-road. Okay. Um, we are running custom valve king shocks on these. Um, so it, it rides great down the trail, even at high speeds. Um, and then when we don't want any any torsion or any kind of twisting forces from the chassis to be transmitted into the camper, uh, we actually have the camper on a pivot mounting system. It's a tri-mount pivot system that we designed oh, wow. that makes the shell essentially uh, float kind of above the frame and the frame has the ability to uh, twist independently okay. of the shell. Nice. So there really aren't any twisting forces from the chassis being transmitted into the box. That's incredible. I mean, that, that, that's insane. Tell us a little bit about, you know, how did this come to be? How did Earth Roamer as a company? Yeah, so um, the company was founded in 1998 by okay. a man named Bill Swales, um, our founder and owner. Okay. Um, and he built the first truck uh, mainly because he was looking for something that he could take uh, to get out and pursue his passion of, of wildlife photography and really just traveling the world. Uh, and having adventures way off the grid. Um, and he was an engineer by trade, but a photographer by, by hobby, by passion. And so he wanted something that could get him anywhere he wanted to be and still be in comfort. Okay. And uh, when he tried to do that with like a slide-in camper in a pickup truck, he found that everything kind of rattled into pieces and everything started falling apart. So uh, it just wasn't great for really reaching the, the ends of the world, if you will. Um, you know, northern Alaska right. up in Prudhoe Bay or going down yep. to South America, down to Ushuaia or something Where like that. Where he would go and film. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and so he decided to build himself a truck that was mm. everything he needed and more. Um, and he wanted to also make it comfortable so that it felt like home away from home. Okay. Um, and that has, that has developed over the last uh, 24 years to be what we see here today which is uh, just continuously improving product. Every single one we come out with is just, just a hint better than the last. And now we have about uh, 350 trucks on the road at this point. Wow. Um, and they're all kind of, uh, most of them have been following this LTI model, uh, which is based on the Ford F550 um, and is about 30 feet long overall. Okay. And uh, we switched from fiberglass to carbon fiber when we introduced the LTI in 2020. Okay. So that's when we went to the carbon fiber. That's also when we went to all lithium ion batteries. Okay, I was gonna ask you about that part because you know a lot of people, companies will claim to be, you know, that you, you can live off the grid. Right. And so can you? I mean, Absolutely. can you do everything? Absolutely. So um, we have enough power systems on board as well as enough solar that we don't run generators in the trucks. We don't have generators installed. Really? Absolutely. No generators. No. Wow. So we have 1,320 watts of solar on the roof of this truck. Um, and we have 3,000 watt inverters in this truck. About 800 amp hours, which is about 12,000 watt hours of lithium ion batteries for stored energy on the truck. 
So between all of those, I can run all of my systems on board off of my battery systems and be recharged by solar. And that includes, when I say everything, I mean everything. I mean air conditioning. Air conditioning. Oh yeah. Wow. Air conditioning is running off okay, the battery Okay, so bank. I mean, why, Mike, is, why hasn't every camper done this? Um, I mean, you're, you, you're, you're using technology that, it, I mean, it's not necessarily new technology. No, but I think it's that- It's the way you've done it. There's years of development. Okay. that has led to this. I mean, we, when you start getting into the nitty gritty of what makes Earth Roamer different, it is going to be things like um, a lot of the systems we have fine-tuned to figure out what works for people, like that tri-mount system, yeah. that pivoting uh, yeah. mount system. Um, same thing with uh, doing very specific modifications to the uh, to the chassis, the pass-through where we cut out the back wall yeah. of the cab to I be able that. to walk through the cab. Um, and I think it's also that we have a lot of really, really incredible craftsmen in Colorado who hand build these trucks. I mean, we have some of the best woodworkers in the world. We have the best welders in the world. We have, we have one of the most amazing composite shops you've ever seen to be able to build the shell. And not only build the shell, but we build all the other component, the composites components. Like people ask us, where do you get your fender flares? Mm -hmm. well, we build them, they're ours. Right. Okay. Where do you get your bumpers? Right. They're cool bumpers. You make them. That's aluminum bumpers that are all hand tigged, tig wow. welded in house. And he's an artist, right? Um, same thing with all of our uh, composites for things like the bathroom, the wet bath. So the shower walls and the shower pan, um, all done in our composite shop. All of the fab you see for the uh, metal boxes on the back. We have the optional Traeger smoker on the back of the Yeah. Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. Um, the. Um, the interior, before we leave the interior for a minute, yeah. other than the, the, the switches you can install, like for the air ride and that kind of stuff, the the inside of the cab is pretty much a stock Ford. It looks like it, right? Right. It does. So what else has been hidden? Okay. So Ford, all Ford pickup trucks, all Super Duties, have a back wall. So they have a bench rear seat. So Because this one you have to cut out. We build captain's chairs in the rear. You build them so that you have a walk-through capability into the pass-through, and our in-house upholstery team does all of it to match Ford OEM. Wow. So it looks like OEM seats. It does. It looks you, like you OEM center me. console and everything, but when you start looking at it and realizing Ford never offered rear captain's chairs. No. So we do, to give you that pass-through They ability. never needed them because there was never right. a hole there. There are certain things that we have to do for our earth roamer modifications, camera systems, and things like that, that all look integrated into Ford as if Ford did it. Really, that's that all integrated into there. Absolutely. One of the oh, awesome man. things that a lot of people don't think about is um, we offer things like two-wheel low. So you have two high, you got four high, you got four low, but we integrate in two low as well so that you can be in your low crawling gears off-road and still have full lock-to-lock -lock steering capability without binding up your steering as you would with any true four-wheel drive vehicle. Wow. So a lot of integration to make it feel OEM, okay. but it is not OEM. That that's incredible because, and I'm glad you mentioned that because it looks it looks good. OEM. It yeah. looks it looks better than good. It looks great. Oh man. Okay. So um, the, let's just talk about the camera system because you you mentioned that. Yep. But not only can you see it in the screen, but there's a, a monitor inside too. Is there not? Yeah. So we have two different uh, I'll call them categories of cameras. Okay. I have my security cameras. That's the Ghost security system. Um, that is always monitored, always live. Uh, 360 degree security cameras that are also infrared as well. Oh, sweet. Um, so you can always know what's going on around your tr truck, even if you're not near your truck. You can be on the other side of the world and if something happens at your truck, you'll be notified, you'll be notified and you will have live footage as well as recorded footage on all four sides of the truck, right? including infrared. Now we also have driving cameras on the truck. So we have your typical reverse cameras and we have multiple views of reverse cameras but we also have things like an under chassis camera so you can see as you're off-roading the rocks and the rear axle articulate that's right? an awesome idea you have a rooftop camera because this truck is fairly tall and so you always wonder am i gonna hit, hit that, that tree branch now you can see it now i've got it i've got a FLIR camera on the front which is forward looking infrared so i've got essentially night vision to be night able to vision drive down right the road. right man holy schmoly and that and that is is that a Sync 3 or a Sync 4? That's got a... Uh, so that is all the new Sync That's a new, that's a new... So, so a this new is system. a 2022 chassis. We always build oh, on wow. the newest chassis. So we're actually starting to order the 2023 right. Super Duties now. 
Um, but that's nice. I mean, that's a huge upgrade from the Sync 3 system. Absolutely. So, I mean, you've got that as well. Okay. Man, I, you know, you, we could talk for days on this. Yep. But let's move on here for a minute. Yep. I want to ask you about the, the, the tires for a second. Um, I mean, that's quite the beadlock system. It is. So it's a um, it's a double beadlock. So it's a three-piece wheel from Hutchinson. Um, now, Hutchinson is the manufacturer who builds the wheels for, for the federal government, for the military. Hutchinson, Minnesota. I or Hutchinson. So. Hutchinson, Hutchinson Manufacturing. Hutchinson Manufacturing, there we go. So um, they um, they build this 20-inch 20, uh, 20 wheel for us. That's a three-piece wheel, so it has the beadlock capability to hold both the inner and the outer bead. Um, so you can truly air it down as low as you want to go to be able to get out of the and all And all those airing up and down controls are inside the cap. Uh, so we don't have central tire inflation and deflation just because okay. one of the nice things, the reason we don't do it is that requires either modifying the axle or drilling into it or changing the axle. We do not change the forward powertrain okay. because we retain the entire forward factory powertrain warranty. So this whole oh. truck is under factory powertrain warranty from Ford. Which wow. also means it can be serviced at any Ford dealership in the yeah, nation. Yeah, if they can fit it in. Well, yeah, if you can get through the bay door. <laughs> Put that one on the lift. Okay, let's talk about this additional, um, these cabinets. You got a grill back here. What all do you have? Oh, okay. All right. So let's, you know, before we do this, since there's no one walking in right now. Let's go inside. And yeah, let's more. go inside. Yep. Now, I, I got to tell you, just stepping in here, when I was looking at the pictures last night, the, the craftsmanship and the quality, yes, they pop instantly. If you've been in yeah. any camper, yeah, RV, whatever. Well, what I like about this is, is that, especially, you know, when you see the facility, you see the people working here, we aren't necessarily RV builders, right? We are, uh, everybody who works in the facility is, I think, the top of the line craftsmen and whatever their specialty is. So. In terms of our woodwork, I mean, you look at woodwork and we have one of the most talented wood teams I've seen. Um, and not just for campers, but for any type of woodwork that you need. Same thing with our welders. Our upholstery shop is second to none. Our composite shop is fantastic. And when you combine all of those skills into one company, you get a product like this, where you can see the finer details um, of everything going on here. I'll show you an example of it. Um, you wanna know how to make your silverware <laughs> Look, Look at that. that. Wonderful, but also stay completely perfectly placed. In place. Now, how about this? And We've got our Shun knives here. That actually, this whole block is hand-built with magnets in it that just allow them to lock right in. So when you're driving down the road, no matter how tough the road is, everything yeah, stays. That, that's an attention to detail that you just don't see. Right. That, and that's everywhere in here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I I, I like the cutout from here. <laughs> that, that that you can really get a good idea of what that is yeah. like from here. So um, you sleeps uh, well two up there. Yep. Okay. Anything anything down here? This converts into a bed as well. Okay. Um, so this is a six foot long single bed. Um, oh. And I can tell you, I'm I'm six two and I've slept on this multiple okay. times. Pretty comfortable. Okay. Um, now, depending on what the customer chooses in terms of options over here for okay. their layout, you can get larger sofas or smaller sofas, which okay. in turn gives you larger or smaller galleys. Uh, um, so do you want more storage or do you want more seating? Right. right. That's the classic issue. Um, so this, in this con current configuration, would probably sleep small children or grandchildren, something like okay. that. Okay. But still, that's two, three, and then a possible four. Yep. So or this will come... two smaller rooms. This will come. Oh, all that's the way electronic. Out yep. Oh, I like that. And it'll come all the way out to where we're standing and fill that whole space there. Okay. And you can see we do a lot of other nice touches. Um, like. Oh wow! Look at that wood. That is our uh, countertop that will actually flip up. <laughs> and both of them here, you can I have see a full-length countertop all the way across the truck. <clears throat> and that is some beefy wood it let is. me tell you yep it's the same not a single not a single screw in there that's all either a biscuit joined or something man that is some quality quality work there all right so you've got a whole monitoring system up here to control everything yep so this is my digital control system now i get this question a lot because there are people who go off the grid and say i don't want to trust electronics um, this whole truck can be controlled with analog breakers and fuses. 
as well as digital. So okay. we have the redundancy in case you had digital failure. Now we've okay. never had that in these trucks, but I still get the question. Okay, that's good to know for yep. those of those who prefer that. What is uh, right there? Air conditioning. Okay. And then this is our diesel heating systems here. So we have okay. both diesel air heat and water heat. All right. And you've got up here, of course, you've got a uh, like a 32-inch television. Yep. With get... the Sonos soundbar. And that actually pivots out so I can swing it out to here. Oh, okay. Or That's on a nice. pivoting mount, I can even drop it down in front of the Oh, wow. Table. Down here. So, or you can turn around and watch it from the bed. Yep. And then you've got another one right here. Yep, that's an optional one as well. Uh, that acts more like a secondary monitor for if you're working remote. Okay, you've got two windows either side. Uh, two behind the pillows. Yep. In the front. We can't well. see. Yeah, we you you would have seen them at, when we were at the front there. And then right. you got a skylight that opens. Yep. So this is our roof hatch. That is actually our access up onto the roof. Okay. And we can walk on our solar panels, so you can actually oh, really? walk along the whole roof. Yep. Oh man. Okay. Uh, over here, of course, you've got what fridge, freezer, correct and microwave. Yep. yep. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the uh, bathroom. Yep. So this is our wet bath. Uh, the wet bath is a combo shower and cassette toilet with a sink and a medicine cabinet and a whole lot of other features in there as well. Um, the whole thing is completely um, waterproof, so you can take your your shower in there and do whatever you need to. Now, one of the other nice features is that the shower door also is able to connect with the closet door and uh, and make a changing room. Is that a carbon fiber sink? Yes. <laughs> you gotta love that. Hey. I mean, somebody had to do it, right? So, so somebody had to go, let's just do that. So I'll show you this nice feature here that's pretty awesome. If I open up my, I have a cedar closet here, but Ooh, I can nice. also latch these two together and give yourself give, a little bit more room. This is my changing room. Wow. And I've got a changing room for when I get out of the shower and I need my warm, dry clothes and towel in my closet. I like that. You know, there's just a lot. I, you look at those kinds of things. I can just say somebody needed that at some point. Yeah. And, well, and had that experience going, I wish I had. So a lot of what you're looking at here is um, the result of years and years, decades of our customers asking, could you also do this, right? Could you also do that? One thing that everybody always seems to remember about us is our wine rack. We've I got like our that. wine rack here. This was actually a customer many, many years ago who said, I want a solution for storing my wine when I go on these crazy trips. And so a lot of what we do is based on customers requests saying, can you figure this out? And we say, oh, I think we can, we'll take the challenge. So. Um, that's how we end up with some things, and that's like our changing room. That's um, that's a whole lot that's of features a, in here, including but that, the But that's, that's really neat because then you're very responsive to your customers. Absolutely. And, and yeah. in the end, it can end up improving it. Now, you got a whole bunch of this is just storage in here. Yep. So that's all your extra drawers as well. Okay, and you've got you've got a deep sink in here. Yep. I mean, that's got to be close to eight inches, ten inches yep. deep. I mean, my gosh, nice glass. Okay. Uh, dual burner stove, glass top, mm -hmm. your coffee maker right on the wall. I like you, that. You pick your favorite type of coffee maker too. You want a Keurig or do you want an espresso or do you want a Jura? I mean, you can pick and again, all of these trucks are going to be custom built to a customer specifications like a custom home. So you pick all the materials in here. You okay. pick the uh, wood species and the, um, and the color finish. You pick wow. your countertops, you pick your flooring, you pick your everything so um, this Man. is really custom to whatever you want us to build you i'm just noticing up above you know we talked about the silverware drawer but up above yep. you've, you, with the plates you know you've got this the same kind of system where there there's you know yep the rubber between each of the plates on either side is holding them yep so they're not going to vibrate or break or do right. anything you, know, you, you mean it's the glass is the same thing the foma right I mean, that's just wow now if you look at our wine rack here the glassware is hanging as yep. you would want for wine glasses. They can't clink into each other and they can't make contact with each other, but you also can't get them out. So I take out my nice little wooden slat here. And then it comes out. And now I've got my glassware. <laughs> you know, I mean, but that's... <laughs> Some, when, someone's having a way too much fun figuring out all these solutions. I'll tell you have a what. Blast. It's I a, tell you. It's the place to be. Ah. All right, let's step outside and take a look um, at the back here. Okay. And if you want to just 
if you want to just kind of talk to us about what, you know, this, what, what, what's all here. Absolutely. So we have these swing out storage boxes. Now these boxes swing around and latch to the bumper. Okay. Um, and you have options. You can have them, um, first off, you don't even need the boxes if you want a shorter truck. Um, but if you want the extra storage, we can do the boxes. These are, again, all hand-built aluminum, hand-tigged okay. um, in-house. Uh, and then inside the boxes, we have options for things like exterior kitchens. So this is our exterior kitchen with the Traeger setup. So you've got yourself a Traeger smoker here. Okay. Um, and we've got our cutting board. You, even over here, you've got your cast iron that you can put on the Traeger. Right. Yep. Um, that's all integrated into the power systems already in the truck. Uh, so it's all taken care of. I'm really liking this. The storage containers? Yes. Yeah. That's where we put our spices for, you know, for all of our for grilling. grilling. Yeah. Where, where, where's the beer one? I don't tell you oh. where my beer is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's my secret. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Thought I had you there for a minute. Okay, what's up here? Pelican box. Um, I'm very familiar with Pelican. So. Yep. So we have, this is a very modular system from Front Runner. Um, and so it allows us to mount anything we want up there. Right now we have a, a locking Pelican box locked up there. Um, but we can also do things like bike racks or other anything accessories like there. that. Right. Yep. Okay, let's just walk right back here because you've got a similar setup on the left side. Absolutely. And then this is again just storage. Uh, yep. So that one, we just have uh, some of our show materials stored in there right now. Um, but empty storage, I like to tell people that it's great for firewood, uh, if you got a you know inflatable kayak or other toys, accessories. Yeah, that goes in there. Um, even if you need a bear box when you're way off the grid and you need somewhere to lock your spare trash, that's where you put it. Um, speaking of, you know, you talked about OEM integration earlier. Yeah. All of my lock uh, boxes and lockers all lock and unlock. Oh, on the remote? With my key fob. Nice. And everything still functions off of that. So ah. I still have the ability to use this as I would an OEM vehicle where you can pop the trunk. Man. But with my swing out boxes. That is just too sweet. Now, you got a spare tire. I love how it's flush mounted. Yep. And then you got your uh, sand tracks or yep. dirt tracks. Yeah, I'm usually tracks, set. Yep. yep. And then satellite communications? Yep, so um, this is uh, this is when we were using our uh, KBH satellite for satellite TV. We we're actually, for 2023, all trucks will now be delivering standard with Starlink. So wow. we're transitioning okay. to full Starlink integration all the way in it. Um, and so we're pretty excited about that. That's awesome. Now, tell us about these two door panels here. Yeah, so uh, we have extra lockers back here. I'll just swing this out. Um, Boy, one hand is that's not hard to do. It's very easy. So I have got extra storage for a lot of my extra gear up oh, here. Oh, look at that. Um, same thing in the lower one as well. This is where I might put like my skis or my fishing poles, long items. Long all items the way will go in there. So it's about yep. some more storage. What a nice use of extra space. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is well thought out. Now, if you thought this was nice. Zach, let, let's let, let's just turn around because, huh? All right. So we we are going to talk about the other Earth Roamer that you have that just came out yesterday. Today, yesterday. Yep. Brand new. Yep. And we're going to show you, and we're going to walk around and show you that one and show you all the differences. Sounds thanks good. for yeah. Thanks for talking with us today. We Absolutely. sure appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we're.